here are five equations that describe the motion of an object when it's constantly accelerating and five givens that might be in the equation. And typically, if you know three of these givens, there'll be an equation you can choose from that will help you to solve for one of the missing values. What I'd like to do is derive the second equation, d equals vit plus one half at squared. This equation plus the next two really rely on the concept of area under a velocity graph. So let's take a look at where equation number two comes from. Again, this is the equation that we're headed toward, and I just want to show you where that's from. And I want to just sketch a generic velocity graph, one that says velocity is a function of time, where I start at one velocity, I'll call that v initial, and I end at another velocity, I'll call that v final. And let's say it takes t seconds for this object to go from velocity initial to velocity final. The big idea here is that if I'm looking for a displacement, and this expression is for displacement, then for a velocity graph, displacement is given by the area under the VT graph. And if I look at the area of my VT graph, it's kind of a, an unusual shape. Some people know this, this shape, this um, trapezoid equation. For me, I never remember the trapezoid equation. So if I'm trying to find this area, I might divide it into a rectangle that I know and a triangle that I know. So I can think this is one area and this is the other area. So the area of this particular velocity graph, it's two areas added together. It's the area of that low rectangle plus the area of that top triangle. And for a rectangle, a rectangle area is length times width. So the length of this is t, the width of this is like the height is vi. So if I multiply length times width, vi times t, that's that first area, vi times t. The second area is a triangle, a half base times height. So while this area of a rectangle is length times width, the area of the triangle is a half times base times height. So the triangle area is a half, the base, looks to be t seconds. The height is this difference here. That's the height. So I'd have to say vf minus vi is the height. And this is a totally fine expression for the displacement. It just doesn't look like the one up top that we're aiming for. So if I stopped here and said I derived an expression for displacement, it'd be fine. It's just that notice the one we're aiming for has a in it, not vf in it. So what I want to do is remind you that there's another equation that says vf is vi plus a times t. And if I rearrange that, I get vf minus vi is a t. And I want to go ahead and sub this piece in then. This is vf minus vi. I'm going to sub it in right here for where I already have vf minus vi. So again, let's keep everything the same except this underlined part. vi is still there. t is still there. A half is still there. This t is still there, but those parentheses, instead of vf minus vi, now they're at. And if I just rearrange the algebra, what I get is this t and this t make a square, so we write a half at squared, and now I've derived the original expression at the top, just using the idea that displacement is the area under a velocity graph. And this generic velocity graph had two areas. It had a rectangle and it had a triangle.